So look, we have to give credit where credit is due. Our friends in Berlin, a publication called Win Future, have just released the entire change log for One UI 5.1, which you can expect to be downloaded on your legible Galaxy phone. Of course, also the new S23 and S23 Ultra. Expect 24 new features slash improvements to come along, including Samsung DeX, Samsung Notes, Camera App, and many more. I have translated all of them for you into English. Let's start with the camera changes. You can now easily change the hue, the color of your selfies with the effects button on the side of the screen. Basically, it says it makes it now easier, just get easier to take selfies or change the color, the hue of your selfie. You now have quick access to Expert Raw. The app allows you to capture high quality images. We know that, but now without any processing or compression, which is basically perfect for when you want to edit your photos later and accessing the expert raw is now easier from the advanced menu there's a whole bunch of changes when it comes to the gallery here we start with the common family album um, but shared family album sharing photos with your family is easier than ever for well, some marketing here gallery recommends adding photos to your shared family album by recognizing your family members faces you also get five gigabyte of storage per family member up to six people fairly large family you have some improved handling here automatically removes shadows and reflections to make you look better in your picture convenient information display if you swipe up when viewing a picture or video in your gallery you can see at a glance when and where the picture was taken on which device where it is stored and much more apparently the search has become more powerful now you can now search for more than one person or item at a time at any one time you can search for people without tagging their names just by clicking on their faces that sounds pretty cool doesn't it you can now save screenshots and screen recordings in a folder of your choice by setting it up in the advanced feature so here we go if you're into ar emojis not i'm not a big fan but you can basically now um, well, take fun photos and videos with friends up to three people in mask mode. You can replace your friends' faces with other characters by clicking the emojis. I don't know, not for me, maybe it is for you. When it comes to AR doodles, I'm just going to leave it here for you to read. When it comes to widgets, we have already seen this on iOS, the new battery widget here. Basically, it's a, you can check the battery level of your Galaxy devices right from the home screen of your smartphone. You can see battery levels of the Galaxy Buds, for example, Galaxy Watch and other supported devices. A new weather widget, you have a summary of the current weather conditions, make it easy to know the weather information, whether it's sunny, cloudy, raining or snowing. Different wallpapers, depending on the mode, you basically can now change the background if you are wanting a certain background for work for sport for whatever for private functions can go into the settings and change the different modes you set different wallpapers on the lock screen and the home screen depending on your current activity i guess it gives you some kind of buzz when you go out jogging and then you see like your chosen wallpaper now connectivity collaboration and samsung notes you can now create a shared note with multiple people that can edit your samsung notes simultaneously yeah write a report with colleagues take notes for a study group or draw a picture with a friend now you can easily invite people to share albums notes and calendars using a link that can be shared across apps like messenger email and social networks you now have advanced multiple controls between galaxy book and smartphones you can see that little footnote on the bottom the one i will leave it all at the end what that means and which devices are eligible for all of that more footnotes coming up you can now continue listening to music on wi-fi speakers via spotify connect and the built-in chromecast this one has just been announced in a press release if you surf the internet on your smartphone with samsung internet and continue browsing on your pc you can find the websites you opened on your smartphone and continue browsing them with a pc browser many of you like samsung decks including myself you can now in split screen mode you can now drag the splitter in the middle of the screen to resize both windows you can also snap a window to one of its corners so that it takes up a quarter of the screen suggestions for your settings are now displayed at the top of the settings screen basically letting you know about useful features to try or settings that need your attention so you can enable or try them immediately samsung internet has now an improved search you can now search by folder name 
in bookmarks or by group name and tabs. Improved search logic allows you to find whatever you are looking for, even if it is misspelled. This one is quite useful here, the setup wizard. If you are switching to a new Galaxy from a Galaxy or other Android device, you can now scan the QR code on your old device to automatically migrate your Wi-Fi network, Samsung account and Google account or what have you to the new device. You now have detailed weather information at a glance. If there's a thunderstorm coming or a hurricane or whatever it is that may come into your area, you will see this. It will be displayed on the weather apps main screen. Bixby text call. You can now use Bixby text call to automatically answer calls and find out the purpose of a call. You can see this here. You'll see what the caller is saying in a text chat and you can type or type replies to have them read aloud to the caller. Bixby text calls are only available in English and Korean. Now the footnotes and that is important if you see a one, two, three or four in one of the changes in the change log or new features make sure you go back and check it here. Some of it is only available on some uh, certain devices. Thank you for watching. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much.